Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to 2021. Hopefully not as awful as its predecessor, but it probably will be. You may have noticed that we're on the floor today. Mmm, worn out cream carpet, isn't that delicious? Uh, and there's a reason for that, and that is, um... Well, the table, as you can see, is quite not very clean. In fact, it's so not very clean that I don't think I could clear it off to make a video even if I wanted. So, you're on the floor. Yes. Yes, you are. So, yes, that's that's good, isn't it? Um, We're testing a camera today on the front, and I've got another camera here. Uh, because I cannot be asked to clean that table. And that's because today we're looking at box. Yes. This is a box, yes. Now, what's in the box? Well, in the box are some trains. What kind of trains? Well, I've recently gotten back into model training uh, with um, my other half because he likes model trains and so do I. So I've been buying trains, as you do, and this is a job lot of trains from an old manufacturer. I'm going to get on my, uh, cross my legs now like I'm a naughty little boy, um, which I haven't looked at. Uh, all I've done is take the lid off, the... Uh, addresses and just open the side to confirm it is what I think it is and it is so we've got a nice little job lot of things here and we're going to have a look at them so without further ado let's uh, destroy this packaging and I'll tell you what I know as we go along so hoo -hoo. I've been looking very very forward to this one very very forward to uh, receiving this eBay package um, I actually got it won it on Christmas Eve and it is not actually 2021 yet, it is the New Year's Eve. Yes, New Year's Eve. So you might be able to see a little bit there of a logo, but uh, today we are looking at some Playcraft International. Now, Playcraft is a French company. Um, this particular set comes from around the late 60s, 1960s and 1970s. And uh, yeah, it's a job lot of Playcraft stuff. And I'm quite interested in the old defunct um, anything. These are the, this is the catalog. Oh, I love looking at catalogs, but um, oh, there's some, oh gosh, some really nice things in here. I think we'll, uh, we'll have a nosy at that uh, at the end together, maybe with a better camera, because I know this one's a bit naff. But yes, we've got a job lot of things, and I don't really know what I'm expecting. There's um, there's track, I know that much, there's quite a lot of track. And there's wagons and a train. So actually, yeah, let's look at the track first. Um, I don't, I was actually, I was about to say, I don't have a magnet, but I do have a magnet, but it's currently screwed to an engine. <laughs> a, a model I was attempting, it's a bloody Phillips head, a model I was attempting to uh, remove and change the wheels around on, I have completely buggered up. But uh, we'll be testing to see if this is steel track, as it's from the 60s, I expect it probably will be steel track. But, you know, it's straight, it can be clean, so there's almost no doubt it's going to be added to my current runaround, which isn't very expensive. Not really much to say here, I'm just kind of slowly cutting my way through, um, through, uh, bubble wrap. It's very well packaged. This whole lot cost about £40, which is a very good deal. Yeah, it's, it's track, it definitely looks steel, uh, could definitely do with a proper full-on clean. Let's see. Yeah, that's, uh, that is sticking. That is definitely steel track, but hey! It doesn't particularly matter because steel track still works. So we've got some steel track. We've got, uh, I believe this is a decoupler. Uh, an auto in the area. It's, it's made in France. There you go. You can, this camera is the one that has the decent focus. So, you know, you can have a look there as well in case that one didn't work. No, can't be bothered to get up and focus it. Uh, it's a derailer or a re-railer. Uh, might not work with the Hornby stuff because it uses different connections. That's uh, more... Circular track, we don't need to look at that. Ooh, spooky, spooky, scary skeletons. I actually quite like this setup because I can see what I'm doing on the screen directly uh, ahead. The only downside is it does look like I'm stealing from another YouTuber who does train stuff specifically. Oh, it's, um, it's a decop, it's a buffer. That's it. That's interesting. It's a buffer. And it has a gold style fish plate attached to it. Well, that's nice. 
That is uh, Made in France, number 472, uh, 475-2. Mmm, delicious. Well, they're always good things to have because stopping locos because I'm incompetent at driving is not a thing. But uh, that's not what really we're interested in looking at today. There's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. And it's oh, oh, most of it's box. Oh, what's that? We've got another thing here. It looks like it's more track. We're going to have to open it just to confirm before we move on to, let's be fair, what people actually want to look at, the wagons. Let's be fair, I want to look at the wagons. I want to look at the choo-choo trains. The only reason I'm doing this video today rather than saving it for next year is uh, so I can get them out and run them on the track because I want to see if it runs. Ah, it looks like it's the power supply unit. Yeah, it's a power connector. Ooh, with the thinnest elastic band in the known universe. So we've got uh, a very... Uh, made in Great Britain. What? So apparently this was made in Great Britain. That's weird, but uh, it is what it is. It's a power connector. Um, you could probably actually quite happily use that without any real issues. It might set your house on fire. Short track, always useful to have. Short track, always useful to have. And... Um, Ah, this will be another uh, decoupler, I suspect. That could really use some cleaning. Yeah, that just lifts that bit up in the center, which will most likely de uh, decouple the train. So that's good, always good to have those. Let's move on to this box. It says accessories, possibly in French, I don't know. Uh, Playcraft Railways, OOHO Scale, accessories, manufactured in France, exclusively for Playcraft Toys, Limited London. That's interesting. So it's French made, but it was a London company. I mean, this just says accessories. Uh, there's nothing in the box. I'm going to put that there to one side. What do we get in the wrap? Oh, yes. This is one of the wagons that I really, really wanted to look at. I do like me some car transporters, even if this is not necessarily a car transporter. It looks more like it's uh, going to be uh, like a wood or steel transporter, but the cars themselves, oh, they're so plasticky. DS19, made in France, HO scale. Yes, look at them, aren't they brilliant? Mm. You know, I have the feeling that there's going to be a lot of overlays of um, just the, the, the toys on their own looking, because this ain't gonna bloody work, is it? I can't see what that bloody camera's doing, because that's my regular one over there. Uh, uh, yeah, it's got this uh, connector, Dublo. Use this connector as well, so they'd be compatible with Dublos. No interiors in the cars, but I quite like them just because look at them. They're so French. It's great. Or are they British? I don't know. I don't care. You know what? Just, 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 get off. Get off the wagon. Get off the wagon. Get off the wagon. Get off the wagon. There we go. So it's our first wagon. Uh, I should put it on rail, but I'm not going to. Put that over there, but that was the accessories. We've got another accessory box here. Uh, Playcraft Railways, HO, pretty much the same thing. Manufactured in France for Blighty. Mm. Let's see what's in here. It's very, very light, so it's not going to be a loco. It's once again wrapped up. I have dropped it. That's fine. Uh, oh. No, nope, that's just a piece of tissue paper. Well, it was worth it. You never know when you might find some random tissue paper. Can't deny this is very well wrapped. So, uh, what do we have in here? It is a wagon. Yes. Ah, it's a wagon with load. Now, that's nice. Ooh. I'll tell, tell you what, the person that sold this really likes their bleeding uh, elastic bands. Oh, that's got some real play value to it. So, uh, yeah, you can take that off, these cargo containers, and... Uh, Transport them around and drop them and claim the insurance for insurance fraud. Yeah, that's very, very nice. Again, it's just a standard wagon, same kind of connectors. I've never actually ran wagons with these connectors. I used to have some Dublo knocking around, but um, I don't have that anymore. But uh, I suppose they work fine. It's got this little uh, notch on the bottom. Why aren't you uh, staying on? Uh. Got this little notch on the bottom that I assume that uh, decoupler will run it over. And it says, I'm going to lean over here to make sure I get this right. 
British Railways. Mmm. British Railways, load 3 tonnes, tear 1.3, capacity 330 something. Yes. It's quite a lot of detail, really, to be fair. If only I could hold it, you know, in shot, that would be good. I think I have a lot to learn about this particular format of videos. But, uh, yeah, uh, these connectors would mean that I could run this with the uh, Hornby Dublo stuff, which is always a good thing if I wanted to start picking that up again. Oh, there was this box. A very bland-looking box. It does not have the word accessories written on it. Oh, I know what this is. Uh, this is what I was expecting in the other two boxes, actually, to be fair. Um, although, whether this is Playcraft or not, I don't know. Probably. Let's have a quick look. No, this is something completely different. But bloody hell's teeth. Have a look at that. Now that is a proper signal system, yeah! For oh, your buggery doodars. Let's uh, bring that over here as well so you can have a look. So it's a set of signals, which is great. Uh, it's made by Crescent, made in England. I really like that. This is one of the, uh, I really want this just because I want this signal. I have a couple of uh, Hornby Dublo signals, but they're not as grand as this. I've had to repair one of them as well, so it barely works. But hey, that's nice. Genuinely, genuinely like that. Oh, dear. So we've got another accessories box. Uh, that's going to be the loco because it's heavy enough. Oh, there's still another box in there. So we've got four more boxes. So we'll go with this one next, which again is an accessories box. Uh, not much information on this. We, this could be anything. I've genuinely kind of forgotten what this uh, listing had. It's most likely going to be wagons at this point though, which is, you know, fine. We like wagons. Yes, here we go. It uh, looks to be some kind of cattle, cattle wagon with opening doors. There's quite a lot of, um, God, that's light. That's so light. This is unbelievably light. Um, there is quite a lot of good play value to uh, this stuff. You know, I've got to give them credit. They, uh, you know, spider webs in there. They definitely thought about that when they were building. It's like, you know, we want to uh, entertain children as much as make things realistic. So let's make sure we can open doors and do things like that. Nothing wrong with that. It's uh, Gov 86512 tear 250, 10 tons. So this is a 10 ton wagon. Hmm. I mean, that weighs about the same as a bus. I find that hard to believe. Hmm. But uh, nice, I, a nice little wagon, just very, very light. Uh, the weight of these concerns me a bit. Now we move on to uh, a different box. This is a rolling stock box. Again, O O H O O O O, and it's it's rolling stock. It, there's nothing else to tell us really. We've got some cargo. No, you know, it could be that, or it, it can be that, that, or that. How's about we open it and find out? Eh? How's about we open it and we do some finding out? Finding it out is hard. I do wonder if all this wrapping is uh, the original wrapping. That would be good, wouldn't it? We're going to be able to make a half-decent train, though, out of this, which is nice. Ah, this is a guard wagon. Always useful thing to have at the end of the train. I actually need some more of these uh, for the layouts I'm running. Although this won't be one of them, because, hey, funny connector. Although, realistically, all you need to do is unscrew that and change the connection. So it's not exactly a hard thing to convert. It's very plasticky. It's, it, it feels cheap. Um, I've got some Yugoslavian trains that feel pretty much the same. Although the train is genuinely fantastic. Oh, bloody hell's teeth. Um, Mahano Technica. Really, really good stuff. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with this wagon. It feels a bit cheap, but uh, I, I felt worse things for children to play with, personally. And so we're going to come on to the last of the rolling stock, which is this one. Straight in, straight out. No point wasting time here. And it is a, another animal transportation wagon with doors that open. A uh, box wagon, I suppose. It wouldn't just be ad for animals. You could transport anything in it, but I'm calling it an animal transportation unit. Yes. But uh, yeah, there's another wagon. Plastic wheels. Uh, they look absolutely filthy. And I'm going to have to clean all of this before it goes on the layout realistically. But I won't because I'm lazy. Yeah, it's just another wagon. Does the job just fine. It's pretty good, really. Can't fault it in any way, shape, or form. So there we go. We've got one, two, three, four, five wagons, which is pretty good. Signal. Uh, cars. I don't think they're the right cars uh, for the set, but cars. Uh, I prefer them over the cars I got on the Hornby Transporter. So let's move to the last box, which is French National Railways Rolling Stock. 
Yes, this is a box for rolling stock. And I actually, I quite like these designs because it shows you what you can get without actually showing you what you've got. But this box, unfortunately, is a lie. Why is this box a lie? Well, the reason this box is a lie is because would you really think I'd buy a, a whole set of railways without a locomotive of some kind? Yeah, bloody hell's tape. Come on, mate. Bloody French trains always being difficult. Of course I wouldn't. I couldn't buy, a, a, like, all this rolling stock without a locomotive. So, yeah, the job lot came with a locomotive. Ooh. And it's a diesel. And it looks bloody awful. Oh. It's got some weight to it, which is a good thing. Uh, it looks incredibly cheap. It's got traction tyres, which is fine if I bring this over here quickly. Uh, it's got traction tyres. It's got a very interesting looking gear system underneath it. Um, I can't really see properly. Ah, bloody hell's teeth. Very interesting gear system. Um, I've not seen a drive gear like that, so that's going to be fun when we open that up to have a look. Again, this is 1969, roughly. Uh, detail is pretty good on that side, at least the sticker stay. D6100, British Railways livery. The sticker's sort of going on that side. It's not great. You know, it's not great. I've got um, one of the Hornby ones, and the Hornby, it's just superior, although that's more of an 80s model than a 60s model. It's not great, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. So, yeah. I'm going to assume that's going to work. We hope it does. I've been told it does. But I tell you what, you can see the bloody dirt there. That's not a traction tyre, that's dirt. So this needs a good clean and it will need a service. But before we do that, we have to do the ultimate test. Yes. So, you know, there's there's another one in the background. Uh, that's the Hornby one. Uh, a much nicer model, if we're honest. But uh, let's test this one out and just see if it does indeed run mm. that is not moving the the train in the background you may have noticed which i forgot was on the track is moving but this one is not so oh dear i've had a, another dud engine as you know so uh is this the third dud engine i bloody hope not let's take this to the table and do some servicing actually looking at them they appear to be insulated away from each other so if I plug that in there and this in here there we go so we know the motor works that's a good thing so it's just to pick up the bad uh, very bad but it is taking electricity which is good And uh, here we are at the railway. Hello, everybody. Do hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, there's too many trains on the railway. Here's one. I, I fixed him whilst fixing the other one. I was waiting for spare parts, and he runs lovely. He always did. Anyway, 
I put our loco back together after doing some tinkering. Uh, I actually lost a washer, uh, which kind of completely screwed the engine over. So uh, to anybody who actually, you know, runs Playcraft and likes to keep them in mint condition, this is totally held together by super glue. Seriously, the drive cog in there that we were looking at, yeah, that's literally super glued to the shaft now because I don't have the washer. Um, but if this doesn't work, well, we're buggered then. This is really another display model. So, uh, yeah, let's um, give it a go. Oh, there we go then. Oh, wait, no, you don't want to go this way now. Oh, yeah, bugger, he's a noisy one, isn't he? Now, he's been very well lubricated. There's not much of a crawl on him. In fact, that's about as slow as you can get him. And he's not reliable. But he is rolling, which is, you know, always a plus side. So it works. That's a good thing. Um, ooh, I appear to have uh, not only knocked the camera, but buggered that up somewhat. Go on, go there. Right, okay. So in that case, then... We've got him down on the track with all the wagons that he brought. I forgot to take that um, elastic band off, but oh well. This turns out this is actually a set you can physically buy. I was looking through the catalogue whilst I was waiting for things to dry, so I'll show that to you. Nice and quick, maybe in a little cut out in the corner, but let's uh, let's send him around for his inaugural trip round and see if he's got any pulling power. Because this guy has no pulling power. That is as much as he can do, and he can barely do that. They always slow around down that bit. Oh, there we go then. He runs. How fast will he go with the full load? Pretty swift, but uh, I don't like running them at full power, to be totally honest with you. He certainly goes for some whack, though. I tell you, that's possibly the fastest loco I've got with a load. The engineering seems to be done in that way, but... Um, yeah, he's got pulling power, he goes, he's noisy as all hell, I mean, it's almost as noisy as this one was, but this one's been less noisy since I sorted him up, but, yeah, he runs. I'm dead pleased at that. Very, very noisy, and I don't think it's a noise I can fix, unfortunately, so, um, yeah, but, what can you do? What can you do? Let's have some artistic shots. That's a job lot of playcraft brought off eBay. I'll uh, get around to testing the track later on. Uh, the straights will probably be added because straights are expensive. Um, don't know if I'm going to get any more playcraft engines, to be fair with you. This one's a bit um, noisy, underpowered, crap, over-engineered, yet comically under-engineered. It's all right. It's not awful. Uh, I prefer the Hornby stuff, of course. You know, I probably always will. Uh, but, you know, 1969, can't fault it. Runs fine and uh, makes one hell of a noise doing so. So, yeah, thanks for watching this probably far too long video. And uh, I will see you next time. Oh, he's, he's broken now. There we go. He does go fast, I'll so give you that. Maximum power! Oh, I'm going to strip the gears if I keep doing that.